so I wanted to do a review and an overview of this blade. Uh, the Cold Steel 8010 had been one that was on my list for a while and I just wanted to kind of see what the initial reviews were that other people were putting out, the experiences they were having, and so for me I knew once I, I really was ready to get it, um, which basically was prompted by the selling of Cold Steel. I wasn't sure how the availability or the pricing would be handled by GSM Outdoors and so I jumped on it and I actually I think I got a pretty fair deal it looks like I paid a lot less than a lot of other people did for some reason same steel S35 uh, it's really decent I didn't have any problems with it, it wasn't a factory second uh, just paid a lot less I think and it was still even on Amazon uh, pretty good amount of stock so if you're still interested I still see it uh, in stock on Amazon a couple different sellers so the first thing that I did when I got this blade is I took it on a few trips and so I, I usually use a, a fixed blade just like anybody else when I'm out there but I always want a folding knife that can do almost as much as a fixed blade can do and I want it to be the best that it can and, and what I'm using right here in this this clip is a Bush Ranger uh, from Cold Steel. I pretty much exclusively carry uh, Cold Steel folding knives because I find that they're just the strongest, the toughest, the triad lock and then price efficient considering that I mean like this this right here is uh, CTS XHP which was very affordable uh, as far as I'm aware some of the best prices you can get and then you get that triad lock uh, so really good steel usually uh, the initial grind is pretty good and so I wanted to just compare the 8010 and the handle the um, contour of the blade against these others and these are kinda like my core four right here okay and so the first thing I did is I got some sticks of equal length and diameter and I kind of sharpened them on the edge and, and I made sure it was a good stick. It wasn't totally green, it had dried a little bit and so sharpened it, did a little chest lever and then dulled it out and that just gives me a good feel of how the blade performs in hand since they're all kind of uniform it allowed me to get a feel for it. Then I went for a tent peg so I flattened out two portions and I'm on the reverse sides there and it actually takes pretty good bites out of there with the initial grind that it comes from the factory it really didn't do bad at all but it is a V grind nonetheless the uh, broadness of the blade I absolutely love it can make things a little more tricky for that real fine work because it is so broad but it's not trying to be a craft knife it's trying to be a utility knife kind of a, a master of none but pretty good at many things and it, it did just fine right here I was very happy with it comfortable handle took out the ultimate hunter now the Ultimate Hunter has my edge on it, it's CTS XHP, and it does amazing. I, I don't know what magic I did to make this knife work so well, but uh, what I noticed while I was using it here is that the handle is just not quite as comfortable as that 8010, and these two blades are very similar. The, the Ultimate Hunter and the um, 8010 have different steel in my models, because this is CTS XHP, but as far as the uh, thickness goes, there's not a huge difference. Uh, the handles though, the 8010 definitely takes it in comparison there. Still did really well. Went on to the Bush Ranger, which I have ranted about for a long time as having one of the best handles of any folding, folding knife I've ever put in my hand ever, uh, especially considering it still has a pocket clip and it's very carryable. Uh, probably, probably my kind of go-to outdoors knife. It takes huge chunks out, but again, I've modified the edge. This is not a factory edge. This is what I put on it. It's kind of a Scandivex and it does have a thick blade stock but you're looking at how well it cuts I mean it cuts right up there with some of my better uh, fixed blade knives and it's very comfortable um, nice touch uh, with that handle and that little um, kind of first finger position allows me to get a good grip and then the Fin Wolf which is pretty thin uh, as far as blade stock goes which is great I actually like that the edge is nice and thin has a high grind does really well takes big bites but then the handle is also thin fits well in your pocket, rides well in the pocket. Uh, it still takes big chunks out of the, of the wood you can see here, but I'm just not super happy with the way it feels in hand. Uh, my hand basically is getting kind of sore by the end of this, and all I did is a single tent peg notch. You know, it's just so small for my hands, my XL size hands. It's so small, uh, but I still like it. I hold onto the knife, and I, I do value it. It's a good Scandi. Out of these blades that you're looking at right here, uh, you know, I, what I ultimately came away with is the blade grind matters a lot. The handles and the handle scales, I've basically contoured all these the way that I want them to be, which just meant sanding them down, sanding 
sanding the innards down a little bit, but the Bush Ranger still kind of had the best performance out of everything uh, that you're seeing in this picture right here. Uh, when I when I put them in my hand and I gave them a good squeeze, and just felt, uh, you know, the 8010, it's very comfortable, it's very, very good. It's pretty big. In my previous video, I gave dimensions comparing that, and so I know that it's it's better than uh, the Fin Wolf. The Fin Wolf is not comfortable in hand. It's a very light knife. It's a small knife uh, comparatively to the other blades. Pretty user friendly, utility friendly. Uh, it's not going to scare anybody to death. The Ultimate Hunter is kind of a, a bigger blade, but that CTS XHP or S35 in the new versions, you know, it's it's a pretty respectable steel. Uh, the handle, though, a little smaller than that 8010, and at the end of the day, the Bush Ranger just seems to have the best handle still. So I'm going to contour and change that 8010 blade and handle and come back at you with another video when it's updated.